Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Originally looking at this image, I thought this almost looked like an ancient, maybe a cannon off of a ship. You see the reinforced muzzle and the shape? It's kind of that appearance, but the more I looked at it, something was very, very odd. I mean, it almost looked like down here you could see maybe the carriage, the where the wheel might have been. But I zoomed in, and this is either a helmet or a skull, one of the two. And given the things that we have found in other regions... I'm kind of leaning toward the latter. One thing's undeniable. When you look at the shapes, especially the next set of shapes, this isn't the result of wind blowing ice and snow. It just isn't. It's The shapes are too specific. And what really kind of made me think that we're looking at something a little bit more morbid is this area of light reddish right here and looks like kind of a hole maybe something got tossed in almost gives you that same feel now those two are fairly speculative because they're blurry and a skull necessarily would be looking at it from this distance but what I'm going to show you next is uh, pretty undeniable. In this little cave, I can't even really speculate as to what this is. The first thing that I thought was Cobra. See the back and the body? It's just very weird, but here's where it gets even weirder. See, depending on how you look at this, you could almost zoom in 
and see the head here as well. So this is what initially got my attention. But what really got me going was this figure eight right here. Now who remembers a month or two ago the discovery of that ship that had the figure eight infinity symbol scrawled into the side of it? Whether this is all one thing, or two things, or maybe three things, I don't know. But once again, I know it isn't the result of wind, ice, and snow. Now as we back out of that cave, something else showed up. Now, if you saw this in your front yard or your kitchen at night, what would you think? I mean, if you can't see the face here, the arm, the arm holding something. I've never tried to make this a ghost channel, but guys, there ain't no way that is just snow and ice. Now, without any further delay though, and what this is down here that's very different than the snow, you know, I'm almost done with speculating at this point because it's so very clearly not just ice, wind, and snow. The images are just beyond description sometimes. But over right near the Stargate, in this crevice, let me get the map oriented properly here. Do you see this? Well, I'll have to zoom in here to show you this. This is the bow. It might be the stern. I don't know exactly. But you can see, I'm pretty sure it's the bow of a ship. And this hook we showed, it's a uh, Phoenician. But very clearly on the side, do you see this figure eight again? It's the same thing from that other cave. And looking closer, you can see other features along the rim of this ship. But that one is very distinct. I had made the allegation that maybe it was a rope wind, a anchor rope wind. But it also reminded me of something else that I had found, and this was a long time ago. And this picture will be a lot clearer. I had only described it then as a tentacle. Now it's an enormous one, but in this little island, I've measured this, and it looks like this is almost that same figure eight, just with this end opened up. If you were to lay this out straight, 150 feet long. Just, I mean, mind-boggling stuff that anyone looking at it to say that, yeah, that's just how snow looks, is just beyond, uh, you'd be trying to not see it. And I'll give you these, all of you who have the KMZ file, 
already have these. You'll just find them. You'll just have to look up through the uh, list of things that are provided. But there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Give me one second. This one isn't really creepy, but it's perfectly circular with another small circle here, just setting in the snow. I mean, this is uh, pretty clear. Hand of some type of intelligence created this. And there's another structure here. It's a little bit harder to see. And let's, let's see if I can kick the contrast down a little bit. Right here. With something right in the middle. And I have this one labeled artificial port structure. Will you guys see this? It's not something that you can see unless you look really, really close. Look at this. I didn't create this. This is exactly what was picked up by the satellite. This is clearly a creation of some type of intelligence. This is not natural. There's no way. This here, this is not an iceberg. This is land right here. This is not a, a hunk of sea ice that's floating away that's broken off. And you can actually zoom down right into the canyons. And when you look at, that's a port. And when you come in, you can see where the ships would come in and dock and unload. This was created. There's no way, no way this is natural. Now, whether it was ancient civilizations or modern ones, my money's on ancient. But this is very, very clearly something that no one, you would think the people in Antarctica would be telling us about stuff like this. If it was something that uh, there wasn't some other consideration going on. And like I said, everyone with a KMZ file, you can go find this. But you have to use this technique with tilting the camera and looking at it with perspective. Because if you just look straight down, and I'll show you how this works. And then zoom out. You see, you won't see it. You'll see the label that says artificial port structure. And then you'll think I'm talking about this. Because you won't see it. And it's when you tilt down. Then you see it. So, I'll leave it there, but it's uh, pretty clear, like even over here, same thing. There's stuff going on down here they know about, or somebody's government knows about. And there's the large areas here that, as you can see, there are no pins. I just haven't looked at yet. So there's definitely things to be found. The viewer this morning proved that. They found something right in an area that I had already looked. So I will leave that there. But like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And we will see you next time. Thank you. would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. 
The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time. 12 o'clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Chris King. Isn't the landesite off world, sir? Bye. Uh-huh.